Hi everybody, Lamkin here, and let's talk a little about uh, law in Tekken 8. So, last time around doing the CNT, I kind of missed the second weekend because I had to go to the hospital. And I think it was uh, way too early anyways to start talking about law uh, as a character uh, back then. I think it probably still is a little bit early since we're in the, still in the beta three months before uh, release. But we can still have a little bit of fun with it and... and, and so so this uh, this little talk or this little guide right here, my two cents, whatever you want to call it, it's not uh, going to be like it's. It, this is all subject to change, right? This this might not what I say today and what we see in the game today might not be the, in the final product. So just keep that in mind. And this is not going to be like a full guide on law or um, going into all of his moves and all of his frames and stuff. This is just going to be like basic uh, surface level stuff. What's what what changed from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8 basically the the big the big changes and um, so this this uh, guide assumes that you already know all the basics of law and this is just basically the, the changes from Tekken 7 to 8 all right so let's talk about it uh, first of all maybe let's talk about a couple things that's not really law specific the backdash in Tekken 8 maybe you've heard about this already but you can now spam backdash just by spamming back like this and you'll actually get a quite reasonable uh, distance at a quite reasonable speed right so the backdash animation seems a little bit weird with some characters in Tekken 8 and law is one of them in my opinion uh, so you have to what i've noticed is you have to cancel your backdash animation a little bit later in the animation like this or you won't get enough distance or speed if you try to kbd too fast you won't really get anywhere so that's that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing they they did, which is not really law specific, is that they changed a lot of command grabs to uh, up forward uh, inputs, like this, for example. This is now up forward uh, one plus two, which is fine. Uh, it's not really a change that I. Uh, so the re the reason they did this, of of course, is because they had to since rage arts are now universally down forward one plus two and a lot of uh, grabs in Tekken 7 are down forward one plus two so they changed them to up forward one plus two instead which is fine um, but one thing I don't understand and one thing that I kind of hate I'm sure I'll get used to it but it's just so annoying right now is that they did the same with Law's DSS grab which is uh, DSS forward two plus four this is now DSS up forward one plus two like this sorry this input this is the grab I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this is now DSS up forward 1 plus 2 which make it so in, instead of doing so I understand again why they did change a lot of uh, grabs to up forwards input but there's no reason they couldn't have, have uh, made this stay forward uh, 2 plus 4 it would have been so much easier like this right um, so yeah, I don't get why they did, why they did that. It it makes it so that now you, because you have to do the up forward input, you have a slightly higher chance of like miss inputting, and that's just really annoying. Also, doing an up forward input from DSS after DSS uh, rather is kind of awkward. But again, I think that's because I'm not really used to it yet. So I'm sure I'll get used to it. But for now, I just think that's really fucking annoying. There's no reason to do that. Uh, so that bugs me a little bit. Um, and then uh, yeah, let, let's go over so. The chain, the, there weren't with law a lot of changes from the CNT to the CBT, but one thing they did do is that his uh, his punch parry, which is his nunchuck parry, uh, the input in the CNT was back one plus two, and now it's back two, uh, two plus four instead, and now his back one plus two is this new power crush thing. And that's a really nice uh, addition to Law because Law's power crush has always been. He used to have the DSS one plus two, which is kind of useless, you know, the high power crush. Uh, and then he had always the uh, forward forward free power crush. This one, right? So, what's annoying about having a power crush like that? If you have to, in a clutch situation, if you need a power crush, you have to like instantly input forward forward. It, it, instead of this, back one plus two is is much more easy to use in uh, when you're getting pressured than forward forward three plus four. And so, by the way, his forward forward three is now minus uh, thirteen on block, so it's not uh, easily launch punishable anymore. 
but this power crush is minus 14. So, what you can do with this uh, power crush is the, the max dam damage that I've found you can do. Uh, you get a guaranteed forward forward free. Well, let me see if I can do it right. 45 damage. That's the max damage that I've found so far. And uh, you can do the nunchuck uh, to get Oki at the wall. Like this. And you could do maybe a cheeky little setup, something like this. So that's that's a really cool addition. I like that. The uh, back one plus two um, power crush. All right, let me check my notes here. What else do we have? Oh yeah, one thing I also noticed quite early on uh, in the C and T actually is that Law doesn't have any low launchers anymore. Not a not a single one. Uh, down back three is not a launcher nor a counter hit launcher, and I don't think it should be anyways. Uh, his back to down four is not a launcher or a counter hit launcher. On counter hit, it will give you a uh, let's see what do we have. Um, it will give you a knockdown for a guaranteed a non chuck hit on uh, counter hit. Oh, I got to set the block. Like this, you get the uh, Oki. But that's uh, that's about the extent of his. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't have any low launchers anymore, and you can't really call the uh, Dragon Sail a low launcher. First of all, it's not a very good move. It, it's, uh, it's very reactable, and you you can get the uh, follow-ups on this right, but it it assumes that your opponent doesn't tech roll. And so if your opponent doesn't tech roll, then sure you you can get a a little combo here right. Oh shit! What am I doing? All right. So yeah, no no low launchers for uh, for law, even though a lot of characters in uh, in Tekken 8 has low launchers. Uh, but law doesn't have a single one right now, and I don't really. I mean, I don't, that doesn't rub me the uh, the right way. I think that he he should have uh, maintained his uh, down four at least, or back turn down four rather. But the problem is, is they removed that kind of launch. You know this uh, kind of launch, right? It's the same with Lei in Tekken 7. When he does a down back uh, 4, his hell sweep, it has a specific launch animation. And that launch animation is gone in Tekken, se uh, Tekken 8. Um, so that's why he doesn't have that anymore, I, I, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, uh, no, not a single low launcher for Law, which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. We'll, we'll see if that stays like that. Um, let's see... His combo damage seems quite average. From a down 4 2, he'll get like 65, 67, like this, right? Which is not bad, it's not bad at all. It's above average, uh, or it's average, maybe slightly above average, right? Uh, but it's nothing too special. But again, what, you, what you're gonna win. Uh, with law, it's it's not gonna be with big combo damage. It's gonna be with pressure uh, and stuff like that, right? Um, yeah, I, th I think the combo damage is okay right now, given that how easy he is to use now, and uh, and how you have uh, all his all of his tools available uh, without the big skill gap, right? Um, so yeah, um, a lot of his frame frames remain the same as well. Let's go uh, down back three plus thirteen on hit. Oh, uh, do I have it on counter hit right now? Goddamn! Let's do. Let's see these block frames here. Dragon hammer is plus three. Down back three is minus thirteen. Minus seven. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, he la he largely uh, remains the same. Get plus five on uh, one seventy four with the d uh, good DSS, right? This is, this is now his main pressure tool. Oh yeah, and DSS forward one is uh, safe on block now. But what I really want to talk about, the big, the big topic of this video, I think, is going to be a uh, little. Let's see. Yeah. Is his nunchuck attack? This is just amazing. It gives uh, gives Oki. It hits grounded. It has crazy range. Uh, 
It has a co combo utility as well. It bounce like this. It's just an overall killer fucking move. And it's only minus 13 on block. But no one, the, the range you have on this, if you use it as a keep out tool, right? It's a really good keep out tool. Even though it's minus 13, technically punishable, but no character is gonna punish this at this range. You use it as a uh, it had it has decent recovery, so if you whiff, you might get punished anyways, but there's a good chance you won't be. But yeah, as I said, the, the range itself is just insane. And of course it hits uh let me see. Let's get rid of this block. Hit, hits grounded as well and knocks over for Oki. You can use it as a combo tool. And you can e even use it uh, at the wall. Flip them up like this. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy. And you'll you'll be seeing in uh, in uh, my gameplay. So maybe watch my streams. Maybe you'll see the upcoming videos I'll, I'll post. I use this nunchuck attack a lot. It catches a lot of people off guard. And he does have the uh, the heat version of it. It's a launcher on normal hit, right? This is not uh, this this is not counter hit or anything. Just normal hit. And again, it does launch launch on counter hit as well. The normal version. So yeah, that's an amazing fucking uh, move, and that's probably the best move he has uh, in uh, Tekken 8 right now. I think it's been uh, slept on a little bit by by people who's been playing him and 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 people who uh, who, who watched him over the, the past uh, couple of days and the CNT as well. I, I know I slept on it a little bit at first, but now I use it so much all the time. It's it's really good, and you can also easily after after a lot of attacks, like uh, while running free, you can e you can easily hit the people or DSS uh, dragon uh, legend kick right. You can easily get the nunchuck move off, or you could do something like this. This is guaranteed. Now, this won't be guaranteed, but uh, a lot of people still get hit by it anyway. So, yeah, crazy, crazy Oki uh, to crazy range, uh, good frames. It's it's just amazing. So expect to see top players use this move a lot, and it's cool as hell. Like, cool animation. Decent damage. Love that move. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's like uh, and then all the heat stuff, right? Got the heat, uh, the heat burst. And you got the heat engage. And you got the, the heat dash. Oh, the heat dash. You can do it up forward uh, free, right? That's another thing, right? Up forward free, which is, used to be a uh, Forest Law's old move in uh, in a Tekken uh, seven, uh, Tekken Tag Two, right? Oh yeah, uh, and uh, the heat burst or heat smash. Oh shit! And another thing is that. The good thing I, I really like about the the heat smash is that if you whiff, he will do the nunchuck attack as a second hit, and that will uh, launch on normal hit. That will catch a lot of people off guard. So that's really that's really nice. I quite like that. Um, yeah, and then just. The fact that he, he can uh, go into uh, he, he has the slide, the new slide stuff, right? I find it that it's 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 still easier, uh, at least for me, and better to do uh, manual slide uh, inputs. I can do it, I can do it faster like that. I don't know. That might just be me, but uh, it's up forward, up for uh, while standing. Sorry, while standing four in general is now one of his. Uh, always has been, of course, but. Uh, been one of his best tools, but now it's just so much more available. You, you can do you can do crazy stuff like this, and you, you've you've probably seen me do it and on stream and uh, in videos. 
That's the kind of staple combos you can, you can make right now, and and just the, the pressure uh, alone you can make with this. Let's put it on block again. Where's that? Uh, huh? Am I tripping? There we go. Insane, insane pressure. So yeah, as I said earlier, with the martial law in uh, in Tekken 8, you're not gonna win with the uh, huge damage and stuff like that. You're gonna win with the uh, with pressure, poking, uh, with his uh, his his main tools, tools which he uh, which he still has his back uh, back four right, tracking, jab, down for one, maybe a little bit of this, down back three, right, this. This is how you. Uh, this is how you play law in Tekken. Uh, Tekken Eight. Yeah. So that's uh, that's my quick little uh, introduction to law in Tekken Eight. A uh, few changes that were made to him. I'm sure there's some I missed, but this was like the most uh, important stuff to me uh, that I could just think of off the top of my head. I thought I should make a little video about that. I hope you found it interesting and uh, 